The over 300 employees of the Jalousie Plantation Resort say they are concerned about their future amidst reports the resort will soon have a new owner. Some have worked at the resort since its opening over a decade ago and say the time for action is now. Reports are a foreign investor has purchased majority shares in the resort, leaving the employment status of the employees hanging in the balance. The workers are represented by the National Workers' Union. The reports of an impending change in ownership come as negotiations between the union and the resort's management continue. It is a situation the union's president-general, Tyrone Maynard, says should be of concern to the tourism minister. Whatever transactions that were made, the minister would have to be awake of what's happening. It's his portfolio, and we believe that the time has come where he must begin to show employees within the sector that he's concerned, and if he's concerned, he must make his presence felt. At present, the union's main concern is job security for the employees, but Maynard says negotiations on an industrial agreement must continue. It means that we may have to meet the new persons who are coming in, and um, it, it, it would be um, the best thing for us to sit down and try to complete the, the, the industrial agreement. Um, the workers are concerned. There are persons who have been employed there for about 10 years. You know, um, it's very difficult in Suf Sufre. There aren't many jobs around. So it's a kind of concern, and we believe that at this point we should at least go to the top and get the information right so that we can put everybody to rest as it relates to the future of the organization. Menard says the impending change in ownership has raised red flags among employees who fear an uncertain employment future. He says the way forward may depend on the new owner's plans for the resort. We are not too sure whether the, the new owners may wish at this point to, to, to close down its operations or whether they will continue for a year or two. You know. So what we really want to do is to get um, information so that we can begin to prepare ourselves, we can begin to organize ourselves in such a way so that whatever happens at the end, the workers would not lose out. For now, there are more questions than answers regarding the future of the employees, but the union hopes to change this situation soon. NWU officials are hoping the tourism minister and Jalousy officials will agree to meet with the union and its members and delay the workers' fears. Maynard is hoping for a response from the minister within a week and the proposed meeting shortly thereafter. He says after years of service to the resort, employees should not find themselves on the breadline. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.